Abby Tales, Ruth's Seal of Approval. Hello, my name is Nicola, and this is Ruth, the Abby Cat, with eyes of yellow and a coat of jet black. She likes to show visitors this and that. An abbey is an old building made of stone where monks lived, worked, and called it home. Here is the door. It is big and old and made of wood. Shall we open it? Ruth thinks we should. Do you think it is a creaky door as it is so old? Shall we try making a creaky door noise after three? One, two, three. What is behind the door? I wonder what we shall see. This is the chapter house. It was the only room where Brother Mungo and the other monks were allowed to talk and discuss things. It looks very different from when Brother Mungo was a monk. The abbot, the monk in charge of the abbey, would gather the monks and they would listen to the rules of the abbey being read out and be given their jobs to do for the day. Brother Mungo and the other monks had lots of rules to follow. Do you have any rules at school or nursery or at home? And there were many jobs to do, including cooking, cleaning, gardening, feeding the animals and washing clothes. Can you count those with me? Cooking, number one, two, cleaning, three, gardening, four, feeding the animals, five, washing clothes. Can you see the arch shape on the wall of the chapter house? That was where the abbot and his important helpers would sit. They each had their own space. But the chapter house was the only place where the monks could talk to each other. Staying silent was one of the rules. Do you come together and practice talking and listening to each other and deciding who will do different tasks? I think it's time for a song. Eyes are watching, eyes are watching, ears are open, ears are open, lips are closed, lips are closed, hands are still, hands are still, waiting till it's our turn, waiting till it's our turn, listening well, listening well. This is a seal. It's made of wax, like a candle, and would be attached to a letter to seal it shut when the wax became hard. To open the letter, you had to break the seal, a bit like opening an envelope today. The seals were like writing your name, because when the wax was warm, pictures would be pressed into them, so people would know where the letter came from. The abbot would have his own pictures on the seal. I think it's time for a story, for there are stories everywhere. This is the story of Ruth's seal of approval. Would you like to hear it? I think Ruth and Brother Mungo would. One day, the abbot was called away on urgent business. After prayers, the monks gathered in the chapter house as usual. The abbot had left a scroll with a seal in the space where he sat. Brother Mungo took the scroll, broke open the seal, and began to read the list of jobs for the monks to do that day. Clean the hen house, sweep the abbey floor, cook the dinner, tidy the library, write letters, collect apples, and gather the honey. The monks all began shouting out the jobs that they wanted to do. They were all talking over each other. None of them were listening and none of them were taking turns. Ruth, the abbey cat, jumped into the place where the abbot sat and she began to meow. Ruth meowed so loudly that the monks stopped talking over each other. 
and looked at her. Brother Mungo said, I think Ruth is trying to tell us something. We should let Ruth decide who is doing which job. The monks looked at each other and nodded. Brother Mungo began to read out the list of jobs again. Clean the hen house and Ruth, the abbey cat, walked to Brother Bernard. Sweep the abbey floor. Ruth walked to Brother Simon. Cook the dinner. Ruth, the abbey cat, walked to Brother Edward. And when he read out the final job, collect the honey. No sooner had he read that out than Ruth jumped into Brother Mungo's lap, for she knew that that was his favourite job of all. As the monks left the chapter house that morning, they all bowed to Ruth the Abbey Cat, for she had reminded them that they needed to listen to each other and to take turns in their circle, even if the abbot was not there. I think Ruth and Brother Mungo liked that story. Ruth would like to take us through another door. I wonder what we shall see. But that, my friends, is another story. So it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from Brother Mungo. And it's goodbye from Ruth, the Abbey Cat. <laughs>